Hey, what's good everyone? CJ here, we're back at it again today. Today, we're gonna take a closer look at Tape by Baby Audio. First and foremost, big shout out to Baby Audio for letting me test drive this plugin prior to its release. I definitely love it. I've added it to my arsenal and I'm gonna be using it a lot more. Today's tutorial is gonna include using tape in one of my projects and also going over all the parameters it has to offer. Let's dive right into it. Let's head over to Logic and get started. Right off the bat, when you add tape, what you can do is make it bigger. Let's go over the parameters of this plugin so we understand what tape does. So first off on the top left, you could change the color of the plugin depending on the type of vibe you're going for. I'm gonna stick with the, uh, the gray look here. I really like this look. Let's go over the drive section here on the left. The drive lets you go from a subtle touch of tape glue to an all out distortion. You wanna bring the drive down, you click and drag it down. The less drive you add, the dimmer the light inside becomes. And the more drive you add, the brighter it becomes. Below the drive, you have a section of sliders that you can mess with. First off, you have noise, which adds that authentic sounding tape noise. Below noise, you have wear, which basically imitates the degrading uh, that happens on worn tape. You get more of that wow and flutter effect the more you add here. Below wear, you have glue. Glue imitates the glue compression perceived as a result of using tape, but the parameter allows you to exaggerate the glue effect. Next to that, you have the input, and you could either select normal or hot. Hot increases the saturation amount. Next to the input section, you have the model section, either single or dual. Single basically is running the audio through a single tape machine emulation. Dual emulates running the sound through tape twice. Next to the model section, you have presence, high shape, and low shape. The presence slider allows you to make the high mids and highs more defined and sharp. The high shape and low shape, uh, these basically let you distort the low end and high end respectively. Above these sliders, you have the output section, and the output is pretty much self-explanatory. In addition, the mix slider is also pretty much self-explanatory, basically allows you to mix the wet and dry signal. Above the mix knob, you have the drive auto gain on and off button. This parameter lets you drive the plugin while controlling the output volume. I'm currently running all my instrumentation to an auxiliary channel that I placed tape on, and I've soloed that channel so that we can listen to the instrumentation only without the drums and really be able to hear what tape does. So I'm gonna reduce the noise here. I want a little, little bit of noise. Not too much though. Let's see what happens when I increase the wear here. definitely gives it that, uh, you know, worn out feeling, almost like a vinyl effect. Let's start messing with the glue here. I like the body that it gives to, to the sound when I increase the glue. I'm gonna come up to the drive section now and increase the drive to see what happens. There's that distortion that we were talking about earlier. Let's find a nice balance. Let's check out this input section here. I'm gonna change it to hot. Since I'm running a lot of instrumentation through it, I'm gonna keep it at normal here. Let's see what happens when I select dual under model. Let's go back to single. Dual. 
again, I feel like it adds more body uh, to the sound, so I'm going to keep it at dual here. Let's head over to the presence section here. Maybe we can increase the mid highs and highs. Change the high shape. And maybe reduce the low. Let's have a quick comparison when we uh, unsolo this and add the drums back. start messing with this mix knob here and see what it does. Almost like a flanging effect. Like bringing the dry and the wet and playing it simultaneously maybe. So in the section where the drums stop, I, I automated the mix knob here, and this is what it sounds like. Oof, beautiful. All right, to top it off, let's do an A and B test here. I'm gonna turn off tape, then we'll turn it back on midway. Bring the mix back now using automation. Here we go. Hey. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today. If you have any questions, make sure to use a comment section for that. If you like the plugin and what it has to offer, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell button so this way you're notified anytime we drop some new content. My name is CJ and I'm out for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.